January 28th. But it is hardly credible that one could so persecute Jesus. Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Acts 26.14 Am I set on my own way for God? We are never free from this snare until we are brought into the experience of the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. Obstinacy and self-will will always stab Jesus Christ. It may hurt no one else, but it wounds His Spirit. Whenever we are obstinate and self-willed and set upon our own ambitions, we are hurting Jesus. Every time we stand on our rights and insist that this is what we intend to do, we are persecuting Jesus. Whenever we stand on our dignity, we systematically vex and grieve His Spirit. And when the knowledge comes home that we've been persecuting Jesus this entire time, it is the most crushing revelation there could be. Is the word of God tremendously keen to me as I hand it on to you? Or does my life give the lie to the things that I profess to teach? I may teach sanctification and yet exhibit the spirit of Satan, the spirit that persecutes Jesus Christ. The spirit of Jesus is conscious of only one thing, a perfect oneness with the Father. And he says, learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. All I do ought to be founded on a perfect oneness with him, not on a self-willed determination to be godly. This will mean that I can easily be put upon, easily overreached, easily ignored. But if I submit to it for his sake, I prevent Jesus Christ being persecuted.